Good morning to you. And uh, things are a little bit drier than what we had a few hours ago. We're looking at the heavy rain off to the east. The temperatures are now starting to fall. Behind that, downtown, we're at 52. We did drop down to 51 at the airport, and then we'll start to recover back up through the day into the mid to upper 50s. So, uh, the chilly air from that cold front making its presence felt this morning. We'll look at some other temperatures around to the north and Newcastle right now is in the 40s, 49 there. Beaver Falls has dipped down to 48. So you see a little evidence of the cooler air already coming in from that first wave of a cool down from that front. You see the showers still lingering. These are basically the last little bit of moisture from this large storm system that uh, brought really misery from the Rockies all the way through the plains. Uh, severe weather through the deep south and the Midwest. Now we got some fairly steady rain and heavy downpours last night, some gusty winds, but we escaped some of the damage. Uh, they did have some trees down in eastern Ohio. No reports so far of damage in our area that I've seen, but just a couple of scattered showers left over about the next half an hour to 45 minutes, especially if you're headed east to on 70 or the turnpike. You may run into a few showers up until around 9 or 10 a.m. Other than that, most of the moisture is off to the east. Future cast shows that we have some breaks in the clouds on the way by later this morning. We'll still have some gusty winds today. Could have wind gusts reach as high as 25 26 miles per hour later on this afternoon then future cast shows that we'll have sunshine giving way to more clouds late this afternoon another little weak disturbance pushes in gives us a few lingering showers or returning showers after 5 6 p.m. so if you're headed out for Friday night activities for dinner whatever take your umbrella with you we'll have scattered showers through the evening and then colder air invades by midnight look what happens some of these showers turn over to a few wet snowflakes mixing in and by tomorrow morning 7 a.m. we're down to the freezing point. We could see a few flurries or snow showers moving through the area off and on through the day with temperatures struggling to get close to 40. So here's your forecast clouds mixing with sun. The showers ending from west to east 59 going to be the high later this afternoon. Scattered showers tonight 32 and then here's your St. Pat's parade forecast could see a few flurries right before the step off, but temperatures in the lower 30s and then sunshine for five straight days in the 40s. Heather.